Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, just a quick little 10 minute video this week. Um, last week was very boring, lots of appointments, lots of jobs, dull dull dull. However, I did receive a new fountain pen. I purchased this. I had no choice in the matter. It's the Profit Junior fountain pen from Sailor. It's one of their um, special editions that they've released where um, you get a demonstrator fountain pen, an ink converter and a bottle of ink. And why, why do you say I did I have no choice? Because look at the theme. Yep, it's golf. And it's my favorite color, orange. And this ink is beautiful. It's crisp and clear and just the perfect shade of orange. I love a demonstrator fountain pens as you've probably um, figured out by now. And look at the logos on it. Golf themed with a golf lady. And yeah, my kids were like, hey, it's just like you, mummy. And yeah, that's probably what I look like on the golf course. So yeah, so seeing nothing exciting apart from the arrival of my new pen happened last week. Today's spread is basically just a celebration of my new pen. Now it's winter here in Brisbane, but being inspired by the orange color of my uh, new pen and some of these ephemera items that Helen sent me in her recent mail including of course this golf illustration from a vintage cookbook i had to put these things in so yes you'll have to excuse the more autumn tones so this is a fun illustration with this man in his short shorts and his long socks um, and apparently he's a priest blessing the opening of a new course a new golf course before um, teeing off with his uh, group so i'm using here this beautiful embossed um, cardstock that helen sent me and yeah it's really nice card it's got um a sort of a sheen to it um and look you have to excuse the state of my hands <sighs> what can i say you know look between my two hobbies and playing with pens and paper and glue and all those things Ah, uh, yeah, they, I'm no hand model. It certainly takes a toll on my hands. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I do apologize about the ink stains on my fingers. And, um, yeah, I'm just about to show you. I actually have two different colored hands. <laughs> I have my left hand is very pale and my right hand is more tanned and that's because I'm right-handed and so when I play golf I wear a glove on my left hand so it doesn't see the Sun as much and even though I try to be very diligent and I slip slop slap with the sunscreen um, and I play under an um, umbrella well, I walk around under an umbrella, I can't play under an umbrella. Um, and I wear um, sun safe um, clothing. But here in Queensland, the skin cancer capital of the world, um, the sun's very strong. So even taking all those precautions, you still end up with a tan, a tan hand. <laughs> So I don't think I'll be getting any phone calls to model nail polish or anything, but you know, that's okay when you have hobbies involving um, being outside and um, playing with uh, inky things. It's just how it goes. I hope you had an enjoyable week last week and uh, yeah got the things done that you needed to get done and had time with your family and friends and maybe enjoyed some i don't know dinner out seeing a movie something like that it's uh seems like uh things are starting to get a little bit more back to how they used to be in the good old days <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, let me know. How was your week? Did you do something that you haven't done for a long time? When was the last time you went to see a movie in a cinema? Yeah, I can't actually remember when we did that. We've um, we've been um, renting movies because it's even though it seems expensive, um, you see the cost. Once you calculate, you know, a family of four and going to the theatre and maybe getting a snack or a drink or something, um, staying at home and renting or sometimes even buying the movie seems to work out to be, um, yeah, a lot more affordable. So here I'm doing a lot of fussy cutting with all um, this PET um, that Helen sent me, which I think is a freckles tea um, tape, which has all these uh, really nice floral illustrations on it. It has a few other bits and pieces too, like some stamps and um, um, what are those things called? Like test tubes with flowers in it, and here's a little mushroom. Uh, but for this spread, I'm just using the colors that complement with um, what I'm trying to create and I popped in some butterflies there as well because that's something that I associate with um, the golf course and uh, yeah so I was actually meant to go and play golf today I've been looking forward to it all week um, this week was another week of jobs and getting things done um, before the school holidays start and uh, when I arrived at the golf course I noticed that one of my tires wasn't looking that crash hot and then I found a massive screw in it so off I went to get my tire repaired and missed my round of golf but as the stamp says no regrets um, no regrets in purchasing my pen no regrets in missing golf but making sure that my tire got repaired before it um, yeah was destroyed <laughs> so yeah there's a lot of um, renovating and building work around um, our area at the moment so I think I've picked up a screw from from that but fortunately it was right in the middle of my tire so it was just a repair job not a replace job so yeah very very relieved and here I've just popped in my other um, stamp that says it's okay to be a little obsessed with stationery just as a reminder that you know it's okay <laughs> where was I going with that I don't know so here I'm just filling out the details of my pen here on this uh, tag I think it's some um, I think it might be one of like those Tim Holtz uh, ephemera collections I, I think this may have been gifted to me um, yeah so I'm just writing down sailor prophet junior golf edition and the nib is a fine to medium um, it writes pretty fine though in, in my book and that's it um, oh nope I've put it in a little sentiment yeah makes me happy and it does that pen really makes me happy yeah <laughs> so um yeah, that's it. Um, I posted another video this week uh, sharing some happy mail and a bit of a garden update. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Um, and have a great week till I see you next time. Bye.